Outler, please contact the third floor. You look like you could use some help. It's okay, I don't bite. I'm worried about my mom. Um, she was uh, she was supposed to be here for a checkup with Dr. Cahill, and I, I wanted to see how it went. And you don't want her to know, right? Got it. Okay. Pick up the phone, dial zero, and tell the operator to connect you with Dr. Cahill's office. Maybe your nurse knows how it went. Hey. Anything okay with your mom? She never showed up for her appointment. Maybe she just got tied up. No, you don't understand. She was really sick last year, and she has to be checked regularly, or... She could get sick again. Next time, she could even die. Hey. Tell me what I can do for you. Hello. Hello, I'm calling from Dr. Cahill's office. Your wife canceled her appointment this morning with the doctor, and we've been unable to reach her to reschedule. Could you leave her a message to call this office, please? Yes, certainly. Uh, take Miss Bowen Quartermain home, please. I have strict orders from your uncle to wait here. Well, now you have orders from me. Yes, sir. Thank you. See ya. Hi, um, may I please speak to a Nicholas Cassidyne? Hi, Catherine, what are you doing here? I'm waiting for Stefan. Are you here to see Nicholas? Yeah, actually I am. Um, I can find my way. Emily. Nicholas is looking to have a friend like you. That goes both ways. Hey! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, don't stop. That looked really cool. <laughs> wow, that seems fun. I mean, I've, I've always wanted to try it sometime, but it just seems dangerous. No thanks, maybe next time. So, uh, you look a lot better, are you? Well, um, I moved back into my house, and things aren't perfect, but I couldn't just stay at Jason's forever. <gasps> and guess what? He's having his baby christened next week, and he asked me to be the godmother. Can you believe that? I'm not old enough to drive, but I'm old enough to be the godmother of a beautiful little baby. <laughs> Thank you. The only problem is, is he doesn't want anyone else in the family to know about it, so I have to keep it a secret from all of them. <laughs> I figured you wouldn't say anything. Um, I saw Sarah before I came over, and she looks really great. Now, Nicholas, look, I know you haven't wanted to hear anything about her or see her, but it's just not fair to keep pretending like she doesn't exist. Now, she wanted me to ask you a question. Did you read her letter? Nicholas, look, it's not a tough question. Either you read the letter or you didn't. So you did read Sarah's letter. Okay, that's great. I'm, I'm happy. What'd you think of it?
Oh, come on, Nicholas. You had to have thought something, even if it was about her spelling. All right. I know this has been tough on you, but it's been very hard on Sarah, too. Look, one minute you guys are practically reading each other's minds, and then the next minute something awful happens and you won't even see her. I know this must be really weird for you not being able to talk, but Sarah won't hold that against you. I mean, that's not her. You and I communicate somehow. I mean, don't you think there's a way that you and Sarah can communicate also? Okay, I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I won't push it. But if you guys get back together, you're going to have to do it on your own time. So, have you tried to say anything since the last time I was here? I was hoping you would. You want to try it now? Okay, I, I have an idea. Why don't, why don't I just ask you a question, a random question, and if you feel like answering it, then just go for it. Okay, all right. So, what's your name? Nicholas. Uh, that was fantastic! You did it! Okay, say your last name. Oh, uh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That was my fault, Nicholas. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. See, okay, first I just made it really simple, and I was just like, what's your name? But I think once I started to put more pressure on you and make it a big deal, that's when you had the trouble. Maybe that's what's holding you back. So many people have been putting so much pressure on you that it's making it ten times harder. Yeah. I have an idea. Okay, why don't you not say anything for a couple days, and then... Just whenever you feel like it, randomly fire out a couple words like there's nothing to it. It's worth a try, don't you think? Teach. Now. Please. You want me to be your speech teacher. Well, Nicholas, I don't know how I, I don't think. Okay, look, I'm really glad that you trust me, but you just spoke because of yourself, not me. Oh, I have an idea. What, why don't you let Sarah be your speech teacher? Look, she'd be much better than me, and she'd be really glad to do it. Just let me ask her. Nicholas, uh, are you challenging me to a duo? Oh, I see. You you want to teach me fencing in exchange for uh, me helping you with your speech. But you don't want anyone to know. Well, I don't see how I can help, but uh, if you think I can, all right, deal. You gotta try and relax, okay? If anyone in your family sees you like this, they're gonna know something's wrong. Nobody's here. I checked. Well, maybe you should go see a movie or something. I don't know. Keep your, get your mind off things. Something. What if Liz and Lucky call? What if they get caught for snooping around, and then the agency calls school and they get suspended, and it's all because of me and my dumb modeling career? <sighs> all right, listen. <clears throat> Lucky can handle himself. So can Liz. And being a model isn't a dumb career, okay? At least not for you, anyway. I mean, you're really talented. You are. You're just saying that to me. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I, I, I've seen you work. It comes naturally to you, like, like you were born to do it. I do love being in front of the camera. See? But it makes me feel like I don't have to be me anymore, and I can just be whoever I feel like being. Yeah. When's your next shoot? On Friday. It's going to be this hip-hop thing. I'm so excited. <laughs> Wait a minute. What did you say? Hip hop? Yeah. Uh, I know I'm not that good, but I know enough to get me through the shoot and the rest. I don't know. Adrenaline will handle that. Oh. Can you teach me a few moves? I'd love to. 
Hey, Cheryl. Let me show you. <clears throat> I uh, should probably practice anyway. I got some uh, some new moves from the choreographer. And actually... There it is. Okay. Here, help me move this up back. Get carried away. I, mean, I stepped on your toes at least three times. <laughs> Just take a break, huh? I'm dying of thirst. Oh, <laughs> boy. Um, I think I'm gonna go in the kitchen and get some sodas. Okay, sounds great. Thanks again, Nicholas. <laughs> You're thanking me for dancing with you. No, I'm thanking you for taking my mind off of all my problems. You know, I haven't thought about the blackmail at all. Good. I'm glad I could help you. <laughs> I'll be back. Get you something, maybe to drink, eat, radical concept, both. No, I don't bother, I'm fine. Well, it's not a bother, really. I and mean, if you want to talk about a bother, that'd be you slaving over computer screen all day. Uh, I was mostly lucky. No, it was both of you guys. What? It was, I'm serious. <laughs> you, you spurred him on. Okay, if, uh, if, uh, irritation inspires, yes. That's it. Come on. No. You know, if, if it weren't for you... I would have never been on this mission. I would have crawled into a hole and died. I probably would have given up modeling and pulled out a huge chunk of my life, including never showing my face in public ever, ever again. What? <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. It's just, it's very endearing the way that, uh... Well, the way that I what? Well, the, the sweeping terms that you use sometimes. Are you sure that's a good thing? Uh, coming from you, uh, it's delightful, yes. <laughs> Well, it, it is true, though. I mean, my life would be completely destroyed. Or maybe that's a little bit dramatic. What I mean is that I would be, I'd be really un... I know what you mean. You're scared. And I promise you, I'll do whatever I can to, to take that fear away. We're going to find this or these extortionists, and uh, they're going to regret everything that they've ever done to you. I really, really appreciate oh, it. It's nothing compared to the kindness you've given to me. I, I won't forget how you helped me get my speech back. Oh, well, that was mostly Robin. Yeah, well, you, uh, you opened the doors that I gave her access. All right. Oh, uh, you know, I, I make an incredible hot fudge sundae if you want to stay for a little while. <laughs> Listen. Go to bed, okay? We have a long day ahead of us. Ms. Bell, your dinner companion is 
Dr. Anthony Jones. <laughs> Ms. Quartermain, it appears your partner is Nicholas Cassidyne. I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of the participants for your generosity. Enjoy for your... a while there, I thought I was going to end up with someone like Grandfather. Mm. I should think it's cool that I not only didn't end up with him, but that I got you. Yeah, yeah I'm, glad, I'm glad you're having fun. Um, Nicholas, if there's, um, is there someone else that you'd rather be with tonight, I, I, I can switch. It's, it's no problem. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm glad we ended up together. It's just... I'm going through something right now that's distracting me. I'm sorry. Well, can I, can I help? No. No, no one can. Some things you can fix. Other things just uh, hang over your head and follow you around, you know? I know how that feels. I just learned some things that are making it difficult for me to be around my uncle right now. Is that why you moved in with Lucky? Yeah. And it's funny, I always thought Lucky and I were so different that the only things we had in common were our mother and sister. Now it seems like we're more alike than I ever realized. Well, if there's anything that I can do to help, just all you have to do is ask me. Thank you. No, I'm serious. I mean it. You've been such a good friend to me. I, I want to be a friend back. You are. Just by listening and not judging me. You're one of the few people I know right now who doesn't have a secret agenda. And I want you to know that I'm very grateful for that. Excuse me. Hi. Nicholas, is everything okay? <laughs> yeah. You know you're too ready for a crisis. <laughs> yes, I am. I was wondering if you would uh, if you'd like to dance with me. Um, I don't know. Do I know this dance? Don't worry about it. I'll be faking it right along with you. Okay, I guess. How about you? Well, the geek next to me let me copy some of his answers. Could I ask you a question? Was everything in the newspaper true about your mom? What things? <laughs> you know, like did she really sexually harass that doctor? I saw him on TV. He's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you guys get a life? Oh, like yours? All you ever do is hang out with your spaced out boyfriend, Matt Reynolds. Yo, anybody want a joint? You know what? You guys are such jerks. Emily? Nicholas! Hi! I thought that was you. How you doing? Uh, fine. I was just walking home through the park. Oh, cool. I was just roaming around taking pictures. It's a great day, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Your friends? Oh, no way. They just go to my school. In fact, the only reason why I was talking to them is they thought they could get the inside scoop on Monica. I know you've, you've been through a lot in the past few weeks with the publicity and all. Well, I wouldn't mind never seeing another TV or newspaper again. <laughs> yep. I know what it's like to be in a family that always makes the headlines. You mean Spencer? No, not the Spencers. They're not my family. So, please don't call on that. Um, sorry. That's okay. It's, 
It's just that the Cassidines haven't made a lot of headlines in Port Charles. And when they do, it's normally good stuff, like when your uncle saved G.H. Yeah, I know. But the European press isn't so nice. See, they send paparazzi over in helicopters with, with zoom lenses to spy on us on our island. And when we travel, they just follow us. <laughs> That's awful. Why? See, someone in our family is always in trouble. Just lots of scandals. Or now we're in kind of a quiet period. But, Emily, with high-profile families like ours, we're always going to attract attention. That's just a fact of life. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, it's, it's great having someone who understands. I feel alone a lot of the time. <laughs> Sounds like an occupational hazard. But you're not alone. Anytime you want to share notes, you can come to me. I will. But those girls actually think I was going to fill them in and all the gruesome details. I mean, you know, they never talk to me. But then they expect me to tell them all about the gossip that's going on with my family. If you hadn't showed up when you did, I don't know what I would have done. You would have ignored them and then walked away. All I know is at that moment I wanted the ground to open up and just swallow me. But then you reminded me about spring and, and told me about the beautiful books you were going to make with your pictures. You, you made me feel special. You should feel that way all the time. Hey, Emily? I'm sorry, did I, did I say something wrong? I don't know why I'm acting like such an idiot. All you've done is been nice to me. Hey, don't let those two get to you. You are a wonderful person. A thousand times more wonderful than they will ever be. Maybe that's not such a good idea. I knew that. Well, I, I know it didn't seem like I knew that, but I did. I didn't... It's, it's, I was upset. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I understand. No, you don't. You probably think I just, like, grabbed you. I guess that is what I did. But it was more like a friendly kiss, a thank you for listening type of kiss. Not that it wasn't totally inappropriate, which it was, but it wasn't, like, sexual harassment. I, no, it's, it's okay. I'm not planning to sue you. That's a, that's a good thing. My parents aren't any more hassles. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I space. I don't know what happened. Stop. I'm sorry. Stop, 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 stop. You don't need to be sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. I did something very stupid. I'm gonna go. Whoa, Emily, Emily, wait, wait, wait. Just, can you just stay a minute? Please. Come on. Let's sit down. I can't. Look. AJ's expecting me. AJ and Alan and Monica. You know, they're, they go crazy if they don't know where I am every minute, so it's kind of a drag. Emily, sit down. Listen, I just want to tell you I know what's going on with you. I mean, I kissed somebody once by mistake. And you feel bad afterwards. No, you feel like shooting yourself. And then the corpse disappears so it looks like you were never born and it never happened. <sighs> yep, I know how you feel. I've been there. I don't think so. Look, could I go before I blow it even worse? I only met you... Look, you don't have time for this. You have to take those pictures. I hope you didn't need any light. Best film. Look, thanks, thanks for coming when those girls were there. I'll be grateful forever, which is probably why I overreacted. So why? Well, well, hold on, we're we're still friends, aren't we? Sure, friends, pals. Can I give you a ride home? No, you can't. I mean, I I can't go with you because. Reginald's waiting for me over there behind the trees. Bye.